Hey everybody, Carol Siddle with Pink Dragon JJ here. I am working on um, a custom journal for a um, wonderful young lady named Cece. And um, she always leaves me the sweetest uh, comments on my videos. And um, so she reached out to me, so I'm doing custom order for her. So Cece, if you go to watch this video, there's a little bit of spoiler alert. Um, you're more than welcome to watch it if you want, but um, it's gonna be some stuff that's gonna be in your journal. This is a book that I got at, um, I believe it was Goodwill. It cost me, I think this book altogether was a dollar, cause it's a hardback, but it's perfect for doing um, your collage boards. Um, I, I love it because um, I have a, a small area, so I don't have to get the big boards and I don't have a huge amount of space on my desk. So these are the perfect size. I can make lots of pockets. They're the perfect size for me to work with. And I like the idea that it's in a book because they don't get messed up. They don't get torn. Nothing happens to them until I get ready to use them. Um, and what I'll do is that when I've done them, I will flip the book over, um, put weight on it, and it flattens the pages out. And these are some farm ones that I that I did that I didn't use in my last farm journal, but will be in my next. So, so and <laughs> you too don't look if you don't want to see. Um, and I always do the back plain because sometimes I'll use them for pockets, and you know you don't care what the back looks like in a pocket. But a lot of times I want to use them for um, journaling cards, so it still gives somebody room to write. So that's something, if you do these, think about that. Um, collage the front and then leave your back plain. And that's a tip I picked up from Diane Shaw at my old barn door or Shaw Kept One on YouTube. And here's another farm one. Here's another farm one. And then these are the ones that I'm doing for Miss Cece um, because she wanted a pink journal. And um, I, I really kind of like to do my custom orders um, based on more that person's personality. She has a very upbeat, beautiful um, personality that comes through even in her emails. So um, she just made me think of beautiful ladies um, and pink flowers and all that. So that's kind of what I'm doing for her. Um, with, a, with cooler colors because she likes those. So this is one page I just finished and I did the back. Um, you may not be able to see that this book stretches out when it's open. Um, I did all pinks. Um, some of them more contemporary, uh, just, just for something different, but it's still writable on. And this is the second page I did. And you can see that this is just a, but this is um, one of those, you know, coffee table books. But the, the paper weight on this is probably 45, I would say about 45 pound paper weight. So it's quite heavy and it can support this and I can glue on it and I can collage on it without worrying about the paper ripping. Um, so since I'm going to be doing a little bit of paper, but mostly napkins on this page, so I've got this one, uh, has a, some pretty birds and pink flowers on it. Um, another one of those. I've got this one. And ironically, I just saw Diane using this. Um, it's got some pink flowers, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it for this because it's mostly uh, blues and purples and greens. So I'm not sure. Um, I love this one. Lots of pink on this one. I, was, I just love the colors on this. Isn't that springtime? Aren't we so ready for this? Um, I don't know about you, but I am. Not that I didn't love my Christmas. I love doing Christmas journals. And I will always do farm journals. So those of you who love my farm journals, expect more. Because <laughs> so, I've really, really gotten into doing those, the ring binders. And then I've got this beautiful, beautiful... Um, it looks more red on probably on on the foam, but it really is like a darker pink. And I love the fountain with the, the doves on it. 
So I'm gonna do papers and napkins. So it's gonna be a little bit of glue and a little bit of um, collage and napkins. And because this is such a dark picture, um, I can put papers over it. Uh, I also have this that I cut to fit. Um, if you go to GT Designs on Etsy, she does paper that's, uh, I believe it's 18 inches long and 10, 10, 10 inches wide. Um, I believe that's the size. I can, I'll show you. I love these because this is, I don't know if you can see that, but this is, you can get these from her and it's, it's worth every penny. And she does these beautiful designs on them. I mean, she does beautiful coffee dyeing. But these are also, if you fold these in half and then fold it over and cut it right down the middle, you get two perfect eight and a half by five and a half pages. So it's like for each sheet, you can get two regular journal size, or you can use it to cut to what size you want if you just want to cover up something like this. So I'm going to probably use this as my main base. So that's gonna be a big piece to glue down. So what I'm gonna do, with my handy dandy Elmer's glue is I'm going to make sure I'm still in picture here. Make sure I'm in picture. Yeah, I'm still in picture. Okay. What I'm going to do is just do like this. And I'm just gonna glue it on here instead of trying to glue, since I'm doing the whole thing, it's just always easier to do it this way. Um, Cause you wanna get it, you know, before your glue dries. And I don't have a particular method for gluing. I just slap it on there. Okay, so, and gotta get those edges good. I don't care if it gets over here. So I'm just gonna, Need to start it. Make sure it's even there. And I'm just going to start it over here. And I've got a, a card I can use. I also have a brayer, but this works just fine. Okay, so we got that. I'm going to pull that back a little bit. There we go. And I'm just gonna glue the rest of it on. I love doing collage. Collage is one of those things that, you know, if you're having a bad day or there's this stuff you don't wanna think about, you know, we all know my situation with my son. So there's some days I, I just, it's too much. It's just too much for me to think about. So, um, I sit down and I collage because when you're collaging, you're thinking about that, about placement. Um, I find making journals and collaging and doing all that stuff is, is just such a great way to get your mind off of the world, so to speak, and the reality of it all. Um, and there we go. So I might take my brayer, probably got out of picture now. And I'm gonna braid this since this is a little bit crinkly and wrinkly and all that good stuff. I'm just gonna kind of bray that down. Oop, I got my brayer off of Amazon if anybody wants to know. Um, and I like this one. I like it because see it has finger holes here. So like you can really get that pressure applied. Hopefully it's gonna all stick on there. And just keep pressing down. Um, it's got beautiful pictures in it. So if you ever wanna cut out the page and use one of the pictures, there you go. This is all Hawaii, I think. Pretty sure. This was all Hawaii. Hawaii. You know, on the edge of this, I actually actually might go ahead and just glue the edge. There we go. Okay, make sure my glue, my 
I have to glue around because this is a little. It's going to run me on B down here and down over here. Because I really want this to adhere really good. And it's because it's not quite as flat as just, you know, your paper. Um, these are digitals and some, some scrapbooking paper. I tend to use more digitals for collaging. Um, A, because I can just use my regular paper instead of my premium papers because they're not pages. Um, and if you use scrapbook paper, it tends to really get thick. Um, and you know, then you're putting it in your journal, your journal gets thick, so, so you gotta think about all that stuff. Um, then I'll just like swoosh it down over here. I'm gonna just pull this over here for a minute. So get it all smushed, smushed, and get back in frame. Yeah, I think I'm good here. Okay, so we're back in frame, and I already had, so I'm going to put on a little bit of paper, um, and then I'm going to shake up my homemade Mod Podge. Again, Diane Shaw has a recipe for that she, on her um, YouTube site. You just go to her playlist, and she's got a, and it works great. I haven't had any problem with it. Nothing comes loose. You just got to shake it up really good. And it's a little bit thinner. It's not quite as heavy and thick as regular Mod Podge. Oh, what am I doing now? I'm going to need it. Silly me. Silly me. Okay, I'm going to stick on just a few pieces um, on here. Because I, I kind of, you know, some of this is going to... You know, I don't mind if the brown comes through on some of these. Now, some of these with the that don't have the white background, I don't have to worry about it as much. Um, but we're just going to see what happens. That's what we're going to do. So, and since I'm going to be going over all this, I don't really care if it gets glue because it's, you know, it doesn't matter. The glue dries clear and it's going to get covered up anyhow. So, I'm not too concerned about that. And I like the purple glue because I can't tell if it's not purple where it went on. <laughs> so, I've got to... My eyesight isn't the best anymore. Not the worst. It could be worse. So, and I'm just going to put that on get that on there pretty good. This is a little, not harder. I don't want to say hard. You just have to work a little bit more to get it down good because it's not, because of the, I'm using this as a background. It's not as um, smooth as this. So, and it's got little bumpy, little bumpies, little bumpies. So, let's just do that. Um, I don't really want to use a flower. This is pretty. I'll use that. Although I do need to get my ruler out here. God, I don't have any fingernails. I can't pick anything up sometimes when it gets flat on my desk. It's like, I can't pick it up. <laughs> sometimes I have to get a tool and get underneath it. I have no fingernails. I used to do fingernails all the time. Some of my older videos, you'll see. I loved having sparkly nails when I did them. I always did sparkle. Um... I like sparkle a lot. You know what? I might just use this. And, um, but, you know, doing this, they would get messed up all the time. And I just didn't have that kind of money anymore to be spending on doing my nails. And I can't do it myself. I don't know if it's a left handed thing or whatever, but I, I, the struggle's real with trying to do it myself. I can't. It's like I can do, I can do my right hand, I can paint my right hand. But I can't paint my left hand because my right hand is useless when it comes to, I mean, I can do this stuff and I can run a calculator like crazy with my right hand. 
because back in the day, before we had computers doing it all for us, we used calculators. And the lady, um, I did a, um, accounting and I worked in disability call center. Those were the two, my two main things. But my first job in accounting, the woman who hired me, God bless her, because I didn't have any experience um, to do, um, to just enter numbers and, and stuff from spreadsheets into a book. That was the old timey days when we had to do our columns, when we used those, those beautiful green columnar pages that I wish now I still had all those. Um, um, but those, anyhow, and I had to add it up and she, calculators are made for right-handed people. And she said, you have to use your right hand. You just, you have to use your right hand. You have to teach yourself how to do that. So I did, and I got very proficient, very proficient at a calculator. I mean, okay, this is an old time story. So for you young people that really don't care, <laughs> it's too bad, my story, my video. Um, but what was cool was, and what other people noticed was that I could use my left hand to like go down or pick up a number and be keying it in. So like I could go down and, you know, run my finger down the list and key it in because I didn't need it. I got where I didn't need to even look at the calculator. I would just, you know, I would just be going like crazy. And um, they thought it was so cool because it was like, you can use both hands when you're working on your calculator. I can't do that. I can't use my left hand. I'm like, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a skill. It's a skill set. Something I could do. So I was real happy. Hold on. Drink a coffee. Ah. Mm. I love amaretto creamer in my coffee. And I've been having trouble finding it. It's um, the delight. Oh, I keep doing that. I think because I'm going to... I'm going to do some. The stores, they've been carrying other flavors, but that's my favorite. So I've been having a little trouble finding it. Oh, darn it. I forgot. I was going to take these off before I got on here. But as you can see, that didn't happen. This is kind of an impromptu video anyhow. So I'm just going to borrow some piece of washi tape here. The scratch nose. I don't think I have any scotch tape. I think I need to buy some when I go to the dollar store. Best place to get office supplies. Dollar store. So, there we go. Stick it over there. Get all these off here because you don't want the bulk and you want it to have that kind of see throughish effect, anyhow. Okay. Oh, I think I have some glue on my finger. That's the thing about doing collages. You get a lot of glue on yourself. Okay, so let's just go down this way. And then there's another layer under there. This one you got to be a little bit more careful so you don't rip your napkin all up yet. There we go. There we go. I pulled this one up too much to keep. I might keep that. Um, those are good for when you make uh, napkin covers. Gail Augustinelli does that a lot. Okay, and I actually, I like to use a water pen because every time I try to tear it, um, I, I ruin my picture. <laughs> so, um, and I, I like to, to get the piece that I want to get. So I'm just going to go around here. And around here. And it's just easy. It's just easy. I like using a water pen. I'm probably totally out of frame now. I'm gonna do that. Water pen. Okay. So I did my water pen. So I'm gonna tear this out. Tear that piece out. Give it a good shaky shake. And then hold hold your ears. I'm gonna bang on this. Got the wax paper. 
so it kind of seals shut. There we go. And I just bang on my desk because it loosens it up. Okay, so let's put this. Let's put this. Let's do this one right, right in here. Okay. You, you don't need to go really heavy with this because you're going to go back over the top of it. So this is basically, you're just doing it to get it down. And don't try to pull it. If you lay it down and then pat it, you tend to get the, the flatter look. If you want the wrinkles, scrunch, scrunch away. You'll get a little bit just by mod podging it in general. See, there's a few there. Um, oh, see how the pink is coming through? I like that. The pink from the paper. Coming through a little bit on the green. There we go. Because I don't want this to have a heavy, heavy Mod Podgy Podgy look. Um, ah. Put you there. Put you there. Okay. Let's just get another one. Okay. okay do this over here. Let's just get. One. You can do. You now some people like tearing because they want, they like the the look, but you know, but being ripped. And sometimes that's what I'll do. So it's just basically basically you're just doing what you want to do. <laughs> I don't know any other way to say it. Um. And for me, it, you know, the, the thing with collage, no two pa pages are the same. Even if you have the same thing, you're never going to have two pages the same. And that's that's really kind of cool. And when you pat, you kind of pat from the center out. Because you want to get you want to get your edges down. That's the big thing about collage. You want to get those edges down. So we're just going to collage this. And I don't know if I can get it finished today because um, I do like to, before I do any stamping, because um, I will do uh, some stamping on it also and maybe add a couple things. Um, you know, it's got to dry. There's, there's no doubt about that. Okay, so let's put, let's put a little strip of pink paper. Excuse me that out of my way. Let's put a little strip. I may have a strip of pink paper in here somewhere. Oh yeah, there we go. This is perfect. Across there. Okay, so it's a little bit more uniform. Okay, blue stick. I am not everything over. <laughs> Good thing they didn't name me Grace. <laughs> Cracking myself up. Oh Lord. <laughs> but he loves me. He made me. That's what I tell him all the time. I blame you, Lord. <laughs> you made me this way. Uh, and sometimes I have to say the goofiest stuff that comes out of my mouth and, and my family just looks at me and like, okay. Don't know what she said, but she, you know, she meant what she was saying. We just don't know what she said. Uh, me and my sister both have that problem. My sister's name is Dana, and they call it Danese. Oh, my gosh. She is hysterical. She is hysterical. She is... My sister, seven years older than me, she just turns... Well, no, next week. She turns 74, but you would never know it. She's a spitfire. Little tiny thing. Little teeny tiny thing. And uh, she's a gardener, an avid gardener. She's got an acre garden. And um, I've mentioned before, it's like, it's like, it's like walking through a fairy garden. It's so beautiful. Um, she had a really super, 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 super old farmhouse. And, <laughs> what? See? 
Oh my God. And this is just the beginning of the day. I can't imagine what the end is. I came from the top. Oh well. Um, good grief. Good grief, Carol. Jeez. Maybe it's because I haven't finished my coffee. And, and I lost my tape. I'm discombobulated. Discombobulated. Oh my, what were you thinking? Getting on a video this early. I usually do my videos at night. still with me thank you if you're not I totally understand why so but I like knowing you guys are out there you know when this isolation and all it I mean I've had my vaccine and didn't have a single effect everything went perfect I'm three weeks out from having my second one so I'm apparently in that good status now but still so I just like hanging with you guys and, and, uh, you know, wouldn't hurt to have a little bit of green, right? I think there's some green in there. Let's just do that. And, um, I, I don't like the, the edges. It's too square. Too square. Um. I like hanging out with you guys. I, I just, I feel connected more to the world when I'm doing my videos, you know, except for my family, because I live with my family, but um, I just, the only places I really go, um, once in a while I go to the grocery store, usually my daughter does, and I take my son to his doctor's appointments, and I sit in the car. That's a lot of fun. Um, I sit in the car and I play games on my phone. That's what I do. So when I'm doing my videos, I feel like, oh, I'm talking to people that understand what I'm saying. When I'm talking about journals, because to people who don't journal or, or don't even know, you start talking about it, they're going, uh-huh, uh-huh. And you can tell that they're just being polite, that they really don't have any idea what you're talking about. So, you know, you guys do. It's my peeps. And I appreciate you a lot. Um, do leave do leave a comment, you know, once in a while. And it doesn't have to be anything, you know, just say, hey, I mean, because I'm interested in y'all too. You know, like, what are you doing? What's, what's, how you been coping with things or you know, it, it doesn't always have to be, oh, we love your journal. Of course, I do like those because it's it's nice to know if somebody likes something you're doing. Um, but it's also a connection, you know, because they're saying there's so much mental health issues with this COVID that I feel like it's a way it's a way to connect. That's, you know, like we do in our Facebook groups. You know, I belong to a lot of um, journaling and crafting um, like Boho Daydreams and stuff like that. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot about this pretty one here. So, it's it's nice to connect. That's kind of where I'm going with all that. It's nice to connect. I um, guess I should move that box before I end up dumping all my washing tape on the floor. Because the way, the way I'm going this morning, <laughs> that's probably what's going to happen if I don't move it. I know me, I know me, I know me. And, um, you know, I'm, I like all kinds of genres of journals too. So, like if you have a favorite or you have a technique or something that you'd like to see me attempt, because <laughs> I'm not a professional at all this stuff. Um, I have learned by five years of watching other people and developing my own style. I mean, my first journal it was totally different than than what my journals are now. You, you get where you, you figure out your style. And um, when you figure that out, you tend to, to stick with that, which is a good thing. I love this little fountain over here. I 
It's a big one. That's going to be a big piece. So anyhow, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Just throw my stuff around everywhere. Okay, good. This is a big one. This is a big one. Oh, my goodness. I'm moving that washi tape out because I know what's going to happen. I just know. Um, oh, yeah. We'll put it in the corner like that. I have to really get this one covered up pretty good. And I, try, I like using the smaller. Some people have used the foam brushes or whatever. But I feel like I have more control. And I can move things around a little bit more with a smaller brush. But each to their own. Everybody has their own way of doing collages. Um, and this is how I do mine. I almost dipped the wrong end of the thing in there. Brush. <laughs> I'm just cracking myself up this morning. Oh my gosh. Well, I hope everything is going well in y'all's lives. Um hope nobody's sick and if you are I hope you're recovering um and whether it's COVID or something else I, I hope you're doing well um I've had several friends that have had COVID um thank goodness they're all recovered and you know but one who's and I won't mention her name because you know it's it's kind of her private thing, but she's having an issue getting her smell back. She's having issues with tiredness. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's, just, it's a serious illness. We can, you know, and we're very lucky if we recover from it. But that's why, you know, I weighed the pros and cons on getting that vaccine. I'm like, well, should I, shouldn't I? You know, and I'm like, Jeez my age whatever you know so went ahead and got it <laughs> the the pros of getting it far outweighed the cons <laughs> everybody goes oh you know you, they say you'll get sick on the second one i had no effects whatsoever none and i i really i know quite a few people that have had it and that they've said the same thing so, you know, that's the thing about media. They, they tend to always pick up the worst of stuff, not the best of any story. Um, so I don't, I don't like to watch the news. I don't really care to. It's too depression. I like to watch YouTube videos of people journaling and animals and decorating. Um, my daughter and my son-in-law just bought a new house, beautiful home, um, just stunning, beautiful. I'll have my own area downstairs, um, like a private area, which I'm really excited about that. And, oh, see, it's not even because of this way this paper is also glossy. It's not coming through to the other side, which is nice. Let me see. I wonder if I should just put another piece of paper here. Um, looking at all these napkins. It's on this one. And, um, I forgot what I was saying. Lost my train of thought. But you're all probably going, thank God. I don't have to listen to her stuff. Um, you know what? I just might, I just might rip this. <gasps> I'm ripping it. But see, I don't, I rip jagged. I, I, I see people go around these things and they've got these pretty little lines. <laughs> and me, it, it just comes out all crazy wacky. If that's a term, it's my term, crazy wacky. Um, but anyhow, let me know how your day's going, what you're up to. Do you like to journal or do you just like to, to collect them? I have a friend, um, well, she doesn't journal at all, but she loves to collect them. She loves the way they look. Um, and she just enjoys that. I'm like, that's kind of cool. That's her thing. And that's what she does. 
So it's kind of neat to know what people do. Because I, I tend to, in my journals, I do a lot of ephemera. Um, I do make sure that there's room to write. And I do make it so that you can write on the ephemera. But like a lot of people leave a lot of a lot of blank pages. I struggle with that. <laughs> I struggle with the blankness. I don't know if it's just a me thing. Um, I like to put a lot of them in ephemeron. Even if it's a little something. Um, you know, because... It's, it's just, I like it like that. I like it like that. Okay, I won't sing. I won't sing anymore. Let's stick a bird in here. How about, how about we put a bird in here? Um, let's, let's do the bird over here. Oh, it says flower. And get some of that pink flower in there. See how much easier it is? It's so much easier to do this than just really just trying to tear it. <laughs> so much easier. Okay, so let's put you... Let's put you here. Yeah, this is definitely going to have to to dry overnight. And then tomorrow I'll come in and I'll... I'll do some stamping on it and I don't know. Don't know what else I'll add to it. I just bought a cool new stamp. Um it's sewing stitches. And it's different kinds and it when I stamp it, it just it looks really cool. And you can of course stamp it in any color. Here, I'll show you. I got the stamp right here. This is some of my stamps I keep out. But look at that. Isn't that cool? Let me see. Can you see that? I know it's got a lot of glare on it. But can you see the, the, the different stamps? It's even got a crazy one here. And um, blind stitching. And, you know, the straight and the zigzag. It's hard to see against this background, but maybe that would be better. But anyhow, I got that stamp. I think it was three dollars. So, and it was free shipping. I pretty much don't buy it unless it's free shrimp. Free free shrimping. Yeah, let's go shrimping. <laughs> free shipping. So, okay. This does have a lot of pink which I wanted. Um, just pick up these little bits here. Okay. I like those little guys there. Oh, I see it's the other half. Do I already have something like that? In? I don't see that. Let me, I'm just going to pick up this. Maybe... There. That is dry, so I'm not worried about that. It's just water. So let's get that torn out. Get that torn out. We have pretty weather here today. But it's not going to last long. It's going to rain for like five days. Temperature will be a bit warmer, though. I mean, I live in Georgia, but I live in North Georgia. I'm almost in Tennessee. Like two hours, I could be in Tennessee. Um, so we do get cold weather. We do occasionally get snow. We actually had some snow the other day, um, about two weeks ago. Not like what Gail's been getting in Montana. 15 inches of snow and minus 27 degrees. You can keep that. I like the kind of snow that it snows. It's beautiful. It's fat snowflakes. It sticks around for a couple of days and warms up and goes away. <laughs> That's my favorite kind of snow. <laughs> because in Atlanta, I'm, well, I'm actually not in Atlanta. I'm 40, 40 miles, 
Did I just use this one? I'm losing track of which one I lot used. I think I did just use this one. I want to do that fountain again, I think. Um, I'm 40 miles, 40 to 50 miles. And where we're moving, I'll be even further out. Um, I'm so excited about my new space, y'all. Because I'll be totally, although I love my family, I love my grandkids. But I'll have like, they'll all be upstairs, I'll be downstairs. And because I don't do, I guess I need to tear that off first, don't I? I don't do well, that well with stairs anymore. And this is an older home. It was built in 92. So the stairs, they get upstairs straight up. I mean, they're like, it's like climbing a mountain. Every time I got to go down to the kitchen, it's like climbing a mountain to get back up. Because they are steep. They're steep stairs. But in the new house, they're, they're, like the stairs we got now are like this, like this, but the new stairs are, you know, they go up to a landing and then up again. So they're, they're and they're wider. The treads are, are much wider. So it's much easier. So I can go upstairs if I want, cause it has a beautiful loft, um, beautiful, beautiful windows. I mean, I've not seen windows like this. They did, they did good. It's a brand new subdivision, so. Brand new house, but still close to my son, the hospital and all that. So, which I needed to make sure I was. Um, and, and so does she. She wants to be close to make sure we can take care of her brother. But I have my own area downstairs by myself. And I come out my bedroom I can come out my bedroom and hang a left and there's a garage door. So I have like kind of like my own entrance and it, um, it has like from the house, this little open entry area. Cause there's like a, uh, they call it a drop zone, you know, I guess that's like what we had in Alaska. We just, I can't even remember what my mom called it. We just had an area where you dropped your, you know, you took off your shoes, your boots, and all that. Oh, I don't want it there. And, um, oh, well, maybe I can, maybe I can take some of this off. I don't want to cover up that whole space there. So now they call them drop zones. But there's a, so it's recessed back, um, because the way that, because my room was an add-on to the house plans. I mean, not that y'all want to know all this. But I like to talk about it. Because I don't have anybody really to talk to about. It. So sometimes you just, just mute me if you don't want to listen. If you just want to watch, just put me on mute. It's okay. You can go ahead and do that. It won't bother me much. Um, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. There we go. It's so, it's like my room is built out from the from the garage because the garage is on the side so my room goes out um and the lot they got uh way far back on the lot um quite you know quite a ways down it's a retention pond so you can't build on it and then there's all trees and woods back there so it's it's just a beautiful lot um and nobody can build behind us because of the retention pond. It's all fenced and run by the, by the county. So we don't have to, and our house sits up high. So it's, we don't have to worry about runoff or anything like that. And if we did, there's a retention pond. Um, so my room is built out from that. So my windows will look at the, the trees, which I love. I love trees. Love me some trees. I feel like maybe I can get something pink off of this little napkin here. Something pink for right here. Maybe that's gonna be so pretty. And then I'll, you know, I'll, I'll do a little, probably a little bit more. See, everything's sticking to my hands now. A little bit more collaging um, after it all dries. So I'm going to have to put that up and let it dry. 
So I might go ahead and cut some of these down and work on making cards or something. Not sure yet. Not sure. I'm always doing something. But it's going to be a, t a little bit smaller because I'm right now, my room is over the garage. So it's technically, I think, was considered a loft. Um, or not a loft, because uh, lofts are open. A bonus room. Uh, you know, but we're counting it as far as selling it as a bedroom because it looks like a bedroom now, the way it's done. Um, and my my kind of look is very um, cottage. Not too frilly, and I'm not, I mean, I, I like these flowers here, but I don't like a whole lot of flowers and decor. I don't know. I don't know why. Because I like cottage design. But I like more the whites and the solid colors. And a little bit of flowers. Maybe on a throw. On a pillow or something. Um, but my my style is kind of between farmhouse and cottage. So, you know. <laughs> I'm weird. I'm weird. I'm weird. I'm weird like that. It's just somewhere in between. Um, oh, I need a new piece of washi. It's just somewhere in between. So, I'm going to take before and after pictures. So excited. And if y'all haven't looked at the, the new... Um, I'm probably getting on a while here. Oh, 46 minutes. Okay. I knew this would be a little bit longer video. Um, I've gone on and looked at all the uh, 2021 colors of the years by all the different paint companies. And let me tell you, they are pretty. And um, they've gone, I was listening to a guy talking on YouTube, um, a designer. They went warmer. All the, all the colors are much warmer colors. Um, than, than the cool colors. Beautiful colors, but they're not jewel tone. They're not that deep um, colors, but they're they're very warm because they've found that with the cooler colors, and I'm, I don't know if I just already said this or not, um, the cooler colors were actually causing people to get depressed um, because they were isolated in those colors. And when you're in white and gray all the time, it's depressing. I mean, it, well, I won't say that because I, I do like cooler colors. But people, I guess, some people, it was just too much all the time. So they found that people were wanting the warm colors where they felt more cozy and comforting. Um... So they're like, they're beautiful blues and um, like HGTV, navy, a deep navy is their color of the year. I think it's gorgeous. But if you ever, if you can, um, I think it's on YouTube, the HGTV 2021 um, house, they always do a house every year and then they, you can enter and try to win it. <laughs> yeah, right. Like a gazillion people go in for that. But they decorated all the rooms in the HGTV colors. But the navy blue is their main color. And they did the kitchen. Um, it was beautiful. But, you know, I think I kind of like a little bit of this brown. Because I can use that for stamping. And like up here. Um, so, and this page behind, not wet at all. And this back side is not wet. Now... See, I have to let it dry because I can't glue on that until this is dry. Because I need to st I still need to put my backing on there. So that is my I need, I need to get some wax paper for that. That's kind of where I'm gonna leave it for now. And I'll show it to you tomorrow when it when it's dried. I was looking for the top. You know where it was? Right where it was supposed to be on the end. Lordy, lordy, what kind of crazy day am I going to have? Um, so anyhow, thanks for stopping by. 
and hanging out with me while I kind of went through this whole process. And um, I think I think our house would be finished June first. So the hard part for me, because my room's a bit smaller, um, I think it's twelve by. 12 and a half by 11 and a half. And right now I'm in a 11 and a half and a 13. So it's not a lot, but, um, the closet bumps out from the wall where my closet now is like, it's a door you open because it's upstairs. The bonus, it's more like under a dormer. It's actually got a slanted wall in it, but it has surprisingly a lot of room. So I'm going to have to get some sort of closet organizer and I got a de-stash and y'all I got a lot of stuff my closet is 95% um papers and mixed media and crafting stuff and 5% clothes <laughs> seriously but it's not much longer than this where I got my clothes so it's it's going to be interesting because there's no way I can fit all that in there. And and there is a lot of it, you know, that over time you just find you're just not using. Or somebody recently, and I can't remember who it was, de-stashed. And which I thought was a smart idea is they went through their pads. Because a lot of times when you buy a paper pad, there's you've got your favorite pages in the pad. And there's other pages you know you're just not ever going to use. So I think what I'm going to do is go through my pads and pull out all the pages I love that are in it that I know I'll use and then get rid of the ones I'm not and I will eliminate probably quite a lot by doing that um and then I'll either goodwill them or um I used to give them to a um um oh, and a retirement center down the street but you can't go anywhere near it now with COVID. You can't. They don't take anything from anybody. So I can't do that anymore. And um, my sister used to have a friend. Um, she uh, oh has Down syndrome. And she's an adult, wonderful lady. Um, and she, I would give all my stuff to her because she liked to do scrapbooking. But I haven't heard that she's probably very much quarantined. So, anyhow, I can't really give it away like I used to to people. Um, but I figure there's a lot of people that, that go to the Goodwill. My Our Goodwill's open. Um, so, we'll see. But anyhow, this is my video for, for now. Who knows? I might do another one today about something else. Um, maybe. But... So it's going to look a little bit different, but it's still going to be beautiful. So this is one page. I'll go back over these. Uh, that's, that's another page. And then these are my farmhouse ones. Um, I'm not going to close this up because I need air to get to it. But get you one of these books. They have a lot of these. But they're great because it's, it's bound in a book. It's not going to fall apart. It's not going to get damaged. And and it's it's ha it's handleable. It was just not a word. I just made it up, but it's easy to handle. And these rip out of here. I just sometimes I just take my little my little knife thingy, my knife thingy. You all know what the knife thingy is, right? Um, and I'll just you know go through it, or I'll just tear it out. But hey, yeah. So y'all have a blessed rest of your day if I don't talk to you again. Thanks for hanging out. Um, please like and subscribe. I'm trying to get my my, my subscribers up there, you know. Um, I get so excited when I get new subscribers. <laughs> I'm like a kid in a candy shop. Somebody else subscribe. And I go around and tell everybody in my family. And they're like, okay, mom. Um, <laughs> okay. But I get excited because... To me, you know, that means somebody enjoyed what I was doing. So, like and subscribe. And if you want, leave a comment about anything. No bad comments, please. Um, and if you do, if somebody ever leaves me a bad comment, I pray over them and pray that they have a change of heart because they must be miserable. And then I delete them. <laughs> so, like, don't bother me. So, God's on my side. 
So y'all have a blessed rest of your day and thank you for stopping by.